happy Friday. So today we are talking about Tierra's tips for manifesting what you want. Okay. And as always, please don't forget, make sure you hit the subscribe button, but also make sure you comment below and let us know what topics you want to discuss. Tierra's tips for fill in the blank. Let me know so we can have the conversation. Awesome. Without further ado, let's get into my five tips for manifesting what you want. Tip number one is understanding the law of attraction and recognizing that it's working whether you're intentional about it or not. Like everything that you have in your life, everything that's happening to you, um, good, bad, or indifferent, we are attracting that energy towards us. And I'm going to talk a little bit about what that looks like, right? But also keeping in mind that other people have the ability to attract things into your life as well, which is a little tricky. But that means we have to be careful about who we're connected to and making sure that um, energy is transferable, right? But with the law of attraction, it basically states that... Um, we're going to get into it. Yeah. So let's go into the second one. Um, but the law of attraction is basically that your thoughts, your words, and your actions begin to attract things into your life. You're making commandments on the universe and the universe begins to put in put those things into action. Cool. So let's start with the sec- tip number two, which is your thoughts. So that's that first piece, making sure that your thoughts are very clear about what you want. For years, I always wanted to have love and family and all the things like that. But my thoughts were, oh, I suck at dating. Oh, maybe I'll end up alone. Oh, maybe I'll just be the fabulous auntie. You know, things like that. My thoughts were not aligned in the direction of what I actually wanted. I had to hold myself accountable. What And and thinking about the reality that, um, like, I can see the law of attraction working in some of the other areas of my life. Um, And a huge example of that is being a full-time entrepreneur. At the start of 2019, I felt in my soul that 2019 was my last year as a W-2 employee. Fast forward to July or June 2019, I finally was ready to take that leap. And I say the word ready loosely, okay? Very loosely. But it's really rooted in the law of attraction. And then with 2020, I've declared 2020 as my year for love, okay? Love. And although, you know, there's some still things in the works, but I've seen a huge difference in my love life and in my dating experience because I got my thoughts together. Okay? Tip number three is your words. What you say matters. So some of those thoughts I would verbally say out loud, right? But they make a difference. Um, And also understanding that written word has a lot more power. So what you tweet, what you put on Facebook, what you put in your journal, like being very intentional about um, what the words you say, particularly about yourself and what you want in your life. And a lot of times we say things like, I don't want right? But the subject is still, etc. So an example of that is, um, I want to get out of debt. Well, the subject of your sentence is debt. I'm tired of being broke. The subject of your sentence is being broke. It doesn't matter what you put in front of it. It matters. So, and we'll get into that in tip number five, but it really does, your words matter. And then tip number four is your actions. You have to take action in the direction of the things that you say you want. How I've done that with uh, me attracting the love that I want in my life. Uh, One way that I did that, half of my closet is empty, half my drawers are empty. I sleep on my side of the bed. Um, You know, all these little things to show the universe that I'm creating space for the love that I want to welcome, right? What actions are you taking? Um, And another thing, when I was preparing to like I didn't just on in January 2019 say I'm gonna you know quit my job this year 
and then just go sit down. No, I was working hard and I was putting my action and my words in the direction of some point this year, I am going to transition into full-time entrepreneurship. What do I need to do to make sure I've done my part? Okay. Then tip number five, what you focus on will grow. Okay. So, and that's what I was getting to a little bit in tip number three, like speak what you want. Focus on what you want. Focus on the good that you have. And I'm not saying that this is going to be like this magic trick and all only good happens to you and things like that. But what you focus on, you will bring more into you. And I remember having this conversation with a friend of mine um, about her finances. And I asked her, I was like, you know, you've been stressed about finances in the three, four years that I've known you. That's always been a very consistent stressor for you. You stressing over it, has that benefited your finances? She's like, no. And then the reverse of that, right? Um, The same exact person is like love just flies in her direction. Like not even trying to find a relationship, she ends up in a relationship. Always. And so it really just goes to show like what you, what your thoughts, what your words, what your actions are. Um, if you feel, if you live in a scarcity mindset in any area of your life, then you will have scarcity in that area. Right. So I'm a huge example of that. I've seen success professionally. I've had success academically. I've had success in my business. Right. But then when it comes to interpersonal relationships, that success has not come naturally. So then it becomes this self-fulfilling prophecy of like, well, I suck with friendships and I suck with relationships and not woe is me. I'm always alone, et cetera. Until I made an intentional decision that 2020 was my year for love. That means friendship love, family love, romantic love, all of the above. But the year that I'm embracing and welcoming love. Okay. So you have to be intentional and be clear about what you're focusing on. That's a moment for you to hold yourself accountable. Like there's nothing anyone else can do to change your focus and change your priorities. So be very clear about what you're focusing on. Be very clear about what it is that you say you want and govern accordingly. Awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and recap those tips. But again, before I do, make sure you comment below which tip was your favorite, right? Or which one are you going to hold yourself a little bit more accountable for? What was a gut check? Put it in the comments. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you are the first to know when a new episode has aired. Awesome. Let's go ahead and run through those tips on manifesting what you want. Tip number one understanding the law of attraction and recognizing that it's working even when you aren't intentional about it. Tip number two is clarifying your thoughts. Are your thoughts aimed in the direction of what you say you want, right? Then your words. Tip number three is your words, your verbal words, your written words, all your words. Be accountable for the words you put into the universe because that's what's coming after you. And just a slight uh, tidbit on that. Um, I heard a quote that says, whatever you say after I am is what begins to chase after you. So if you keep saying, I'm tired, if you keep saying, I'm alone, if you keep saying, I'm stressed, that is what will continue to chase after you. Or you could choose to say, I'm in need of a refreshed energy. I'm focused on myself right now. I'm looking for ways to balance my schedule. It's all about your words, right? Tip number four is your actions. You can't just wish a thing. We don't live with a genie. You got to do something. You have to do your part. And even from a biblical stance, I have yet to find a single miracle in the Bible, where the pers- the recipient didn't have to do their part. Is that because you have to? No, God can bless us without our participation. But I think it's that participation that shows that you're ready for that blessing. What actions are you taking in order to manifest the things that you want? And last but not least, tip number five was what you focus on will grow. All right, guys, see you next week.